is Lisa from Low Cooking Robert's Dam. Have you seen my last tutorial, um, how to create this deep blue sea? The original idea was from this car. I was going to create a tutorial to show you how to make this special effect, how to make this iceberg you know, with cracking, um, cracking technique. And then I, um, I just come up with this idea. I say I was thinking I should show you how to create this deep blue sea first. And then I create this tutorial first. You gotta watch first. And then I was going to move back to create this special iceberg, the cracking effect. And I said, wait a minute. I um, already used my little penguin stem set. So um, if I use the same stem set, that's kind of boring. So I come out with this idea. I'm going to use my sea turtle. So this sea turtle car is pretty similar like uh, the deep blue sea. So I just partially use the clear embossing, create this shiny surface, and then this is the final project. So, and then I am going to show you how to create this special effect. It's easy, and also as a promise, every tutorial I will show you some great tips. Let's just start it. So those uh, magic mushrooms are the local King Robert Stamp's new product. We actually got our prototype for our holding base already, and we already uh, we already reached our first hundred pre-order set. So if you don't know what is this magic mushroom, make sure you check our website or YouTube tutorial. The past uh, ten tutorials that we was showing you how to use those magic mushroom is awesome blending tools, and then they are actually in the final stage of making the paperwork so they're ready and then they are almost on the ship and heading to Canada so the estimate time they should be here in mid-November and please check our website for um, the order information okay so we're going to use, uh, this is our the materials, we're going to use uh, Local King's uh, brand new product, the Magic Mushroom. We are going to use a few Mementos Impact version mark and uh, we are going to use uh, um, some clear embossing powder and also we are going to use a turtle talk so make sure you ch uh, check our website and go under this month special so every time when we create a new tutorial we have a special promotion for the stem set and die set that i use so that way it helps a little bit you can just purchase with a very good on sale price and give a try Three different car stock. The first one is the watercolor Kansan um, watercolor paper from Michaels. Just make sure you check it out. Sometimes they have a buy one, get a second one for free. And the glossy paper. So white car stock is 5x5. Five five, and the black car stock is a 5.25 by 5.25. The blue um, uh, texture paper is a 5.5 five five by 5.5. Five five. And we are going to use the Sun Memento Impact. It's, uh, 804, 802, 801, 500, 602, 600, and 800. So you just choose the color that is a pretty similar like this car project. And it's a good idea that you take a screenshot. You can do a little Googling, find out how to screenshot your um, screen picture. So that way you can have some sample when you start to blending. Okay, so let's just start our foundation color. You can see on my um, left side is more like an earth tone color. These are four different kinds of earth tone. And on my uh, right side is more like bluish and plus a little bit purple. So we are going to use uh, our magic mushroom. You can see this mushroom has been used too many times. Even though the color um, on the sponge is kind of dark, but uh, when you use it, it doesn't matter. So let's see this uh, yellow color. Okay, so I didn't really clean last time after I used it. So you kind of brush uh, the um, your magic mushroom on the scrap paper. They don't really have any color on top. So we're gonna start the first color. It's called the Desert Same. And like I uh, from the previous tutorial, I always uh, showing you, try to brush your mushroom instead of a tap. So when you're brushing them, they pick up a better color. And this time, I want to try to start from this direction to that direction because I want to put my little guy on top. I want to give it a little bit more space. Okay, so you start from the one corner and you just kind of um, drawing the line like a 45, uh, 45 degree. So always go re-ink your mushroom here. 
brush instead of the um, tap. Okay, so just uh, you do have to re-ink your your mushroom. Okay, so start from the right a uh, light color. Okay, and then you can use the same mushroom. That's okay. Pick up the second color, and this is the number eight hundred two, the memento eight hundred two. So kind of just uh, drawing line from the this side to that side. Okay, pick a little bit more color. Okay, so this kind of blending technique is kind of messy job. So keep your finger clean. You don't want your fingertip on top of your artwork. And then now we are going to change to or orange mushroom. We are going to move uh, the uh, the other color is called. Oops. The color is A01. It's called Potter's Clay. So the color is more like an orange tone. So testing your uh, mushroom on the scrap paper. So if it doesn't really show, um, like a, the color is a, is lighter than your impact. So you can just pick it directly on top of your impact. Testing a little bit, and then you can just move on on top of that. So kind of just uh, do that. So you can do it from the light right to the left, left to right. Kind of just brush the color on top. Okay, now I'm going to use my um, yellow mushroom again. Pick up the desert sand. Try to give a nice circling. Make sure I hide all the white um, car stock on the bottom. Kind of just blending two color. Use a lighter color, make it more filler and the more rich. Okay. And then we are going to just stop right here. We still have a one more dark brown color. I'm going to leave for the next step. Now we are going to use a blue mushroom. So pick up some color and kind of just blending, drawing the line. Okay, be gentle. Okay, I'm going to dive in the second color. So first one is a Bahama Blue 601 and then Teal Zeal 602. Okay, just remember the darker color, we're going to use a lighter and lighter. And then be careful your finger and then don't, we don't want to have any finger um, print on top. And I'm going to use a darker, okay, this is a number 600, okay. When you use a darker color, always testing on your scrap paper first before you apply on top. Make sure it's not too dark. And then we are going to use uh, our purple make purple uh, mushroom. Just rub some purple color and just fill it up the gap. And gently blending, they will blend. And then when they blend, they actually create more color. You can use the side of your mushroom, pick up some color, kind of rolling it. Okay, and then kind of just give it some stroke on top. Okay, and then on your or foundation card, you see this is some kind of seen through white color, right? So what you're gonna do is, so now I'm going to go back to use my light blue. I'm going to clean my mushroom before I um, go deep in the lighter color. So just use a wet cloth, or this is shiny, or wet pepper towel. Kind of just a squeeze those uh, color. And then you're going to use a napkin, um, napkin or Kleenex. Kind of squeeze all the ink on top of your mushroom. And then see? After you do that, this mushroom, even though it looks kind of like a dark blue, but they are ready to go back to the dark, uh, lighter color. And then we keep our some Bahama blue again, and then gently blending, drawing a little circle on top. Try to hiding those uh, white color. And then when you blending two together, and they create a new color. It doesn't have to be completely very smoothly, okay? So, let's move on to the next step. Okay, and now we are going to create uh, this uh, 
shining coating effect. So what you're going to do is you just grab a piece of scrap paper and we're going to just uh, tear it to create this uh, edge. Okay, so that's pretty much like this. Okay, and then we are going to use a verse mark. So you can just uh, hold it with uh, your hand and then kind of just uh, squeeze the uh, verse mark in like this. Just like our last tutorial, like a how, the, how I make that deep blue sea. And then we are going to dip in in the clear embossing powder like this and I'm going to heat up and then we're going to put it to coat I will be right back okay so this is what's the first layer and then the clear embossing that I use is not very fine it's actually a very thick embossing powder so after the first layer you can see some kind of texture there so what we're gonna do and um, all we're gonna do is we're going to um, add two more layer okay so that's what it look like the second layer and we're going to add the last coat okay so that's our last coat Okay, so let's add a little bit something and then before we move to the next step. So I'm going to use my uh, orange mushroom, use the potted clay, pick up some color and just between the, the, the water and the beach, we just give a very, very um, soft blending. Okay, just a little bit color, half inch on the water and the half inch on the land. Just make it a little bit darker here. So that's what it look like. And then we are going to use our brown mushroom, pick up the rich coca, okay? And then now we are only a quarter on the land, three quarter on the water. So kind of just give a little bit shading here. So that way you create the, like you separate the water in the land. And then now what are you going to do is you can just use a wet cloth or Kleenex. Kind of just wipe off the extra color on the water. Because they are clear embossing coated, so the water is not going to stay there. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so how to create this uh, cra uh, cracking effect? We are going to put the least piece of paper in the freeze for 20 minutes. So you got it right, the freeze. Just uh, leave this one in your freeze for 20 minutes and we will be back. Okay, I'm back. So this is uh, right after I took out from the um, freezer and then we are going to just crack. And you got to do it for fast while when it's cold. If you wait a little bit longer, when they become warm, they won't crack. So you can actually hear the noise. You can see the cracking happen. Okay, so if when you start to bang it, nothing happening, the cracking line is happening, that means it didn't chill enough. So you have to put it back and then let it set a little bit longer. And after you um, pick it up from the freezer, you have to do it right away. If it, is worn, it won't be able to crack in it. Okay, and now we are going to create this spin drift and the effect. Um, it's something very important when you're tearing it. So I'm going to show you, okay. When you pick up your, um, fun, your final um, car, you are going to tearing forward to you. If you tearing forward to you, you are able to create this spring drift. If you are peeling like this, so that's the wrong direction. It does make a difference, okay? So make sure 
okay, holding your car and then try to tearing the edge of the uh, water in the, the land. So you will see, just go a little bit, it's okay, go a little bit on top of your water, it's okay. Try to get as close as you can. But if you get a little bit of water on top, it's okay. I'm going to show you. We're going to cover it. So kind of just tear it toward to you. Like this. Okay, I'm going to tape it. So for the, the land, we just tape it with double side tape. And for the water, I am going to use a foam tape to create a little bit depth. Okay, in every single tutorial, I'm trying to share some great tips with you. So this stamp set is actually come with uh, four different kind of sea turtles. They come with uh, two and a half shadow um, stamps and the one detail stamp. So when I put this little guy in the seashell, um, because it's a small car, it actually looks okay. But when I put this little guy on the, the sand, it kind of looks not belong uh, there. So I add a little bit shadow under the, this little sea turtle. How did I do that? So here is the tip. This is what look like. Uh, um, I use a die cut to cut a piece of scrap paper. Usually, I just use this one as a, my guiding window. So after you coloring, you put your die cut on top of this image, you run to the machine. That's how you get a perfect uh, line up. And uh, also, this is a great tool to create a shadow. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, first of all, I'm gonna put my little guy somewhere around there. So, and then I am going to just put my shadow, I mean, this uh, piece of scrap paper here. And then I am going to use my brown mushroom. Okay, just pick a little bit darker, darker color and I kind of just uh, give a little bit touch up. This is uh, how I create my shadow for this little guy. So let's see what it looks like. That's good enough. And then I just uh, put a uh, foam tape here. Now, I kind of create a little bit shadow over there. Isn't that awesome? And then we are going to just put this uh, any kind of saying. And then I got this little seashell. The last time when I went to Hawaii, you can check in the dollar store. It's just a one dollar there necklace, and I kind of just lose it. And then they can be used to decorate your car. So this is a today's tutorial special cracking effect. So you can um, um, create a car to do the blue ocean. This is the iceberg. It's the same technique or this one. Oops, sorry. Or this one. Okay, so this is our um, today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy, you like it. If you like this tutorial, we have a hundred plus more. Make sure you visit our DVD library. Any car you see you like, you click the car, they bring to the YouTube. And uh, uh, from this month, every tutorial that I create, we are going to do this month's special. So we are offer a great promotion when we launch our tutorial. So this tutorial, we have a five set. Um, you are going to get a stamp set and a matching die set all together only for $34.99 plus free shipping. And then this month, I did a lot of tutorial. So just go to the category and click this month's special. You will see all the special um, stamp set or merchandise that we are offering. And then it's going to be in by the end of this month. And the next month when we play the new tutorial, we are going to have a new promotion. So check it out. Thank you for watching. This is Lisa from Little Cooking Rubber Stand. See you next time.